So I'm applying to PhD programs right now, and yes, this process is incredibly annoying. And personal statements are highlighting my severe inability to actually talk about myself. Am I the only person that feels uncomfortable talking up my accomplishments while speaking in the third person? Ugh. But as I was reviewing my resume, there's that teeny tiny section that many of us spend just a little bit too much time thinking about. Languages and interests. Do I know enough Romanian and Spanish to list it? Especially for a more common language like Spanish. I can't speak it at an academic level, but they will they quiz me during the interview? And thinking about whether or not to put Mandarin on there got me thinking. We've been told throughout our lives that being bilingual has tons of benefits, one being job acquisition. But is that really true? Does being bilingual actually get you a job? Tons and tons of articles and courses would like to convince you of the validity of that statement. Have you ever seen those advertisements of business Mandarin? I've seen too many and I'm not even in business. People love to throw generalities out there, but the crux of this question and the reason people ask it and seek out an answer is this. Will learning a language help me get a job? And the simple answer to that is, it depends. Sorry, I know that's not a quick and easy 10 point list of why bilingualism will increase your salary by 200%. I won't list all the reasons bilingualism will prevent Alzheimer's disease. Hot take, it won't. But life is not that simple, and in fact, it's pretty complicated. Some fields will require bilingualism, and for others, it's just a nice to have. For others, it won't even matter at all. But why do we even ask this question? And I think that comes down to a motivation issue. Oftentimes, we love the idea of knowing, insert language, but we can't really get ourselves to actually do it. So we need some type of external motivation, like the promise of a lucrative career. But considering that many of us have failed at learning the romance languages throughout, what is it, four plus years in the American schooling system, clearly motivation is important. So the first thing that should be on my mind is not whether learning this language will help me get this or that career, but rather, do I find enough interest to keep me going through the joys and the struggles of language learning? Once that bit is figured out, the rest of the pieces should fall into place. But since people love listicles, why don't I give one of my own? Does being bilingual actually get you a job? One, do you plan on living in that country? Learn the dang language. Let alone finding a job, you'll probably need to know it just to survive, unless you live in Shanghai, apparently. Two, do you work in the American healthcare system? Languages like Spanish, Arabic, and Mandarin are actually super useful to know if you work in healthcare. There are even textbooks and courses specifically designed to teach you the specialized vocabulary. And the reason for that is in America, there's a huge need for healthcare translators. And depending on which region of the states you live in, there's a significant portion of the population whose English proficiency isn't actually high enough to understand integral healthcare services. So knowing one of these commonly spoken languages will actually give you a leg up and become more competitive in the interviews, at least in the US. Three, do you want to be an interpreter? Do you want to be Afraid of war? <laughs> Learn the dang language. You can't be an interpreter if you don't know how to interpret a language. In order to pursue this profession officially, you will need to get a language certificate. But interpreters are needed in a variety of positions and basically in every single country. Some possible professional areas are healthcare, C.2, universities, immigration facilities, and government, among others. Think of all the possibilities and career stability. Four, do you want to go up the corporate ladder or non-profit ladder of a global company? It could be very useful to know a language if your company has multiple global branches. Let's say your company has a Shanghai branch, pretty common in the business field actually. Knowing business Mandarin would be very useful to aid in the communication of multiple sites, while also potentially increasing global clientele. And depending on the company product, you may even need to travel internationally to sell that product. Five, do you get excited about the prospect of being a flight attendant? Hello, hi, thank you so much for joining our airline. Let me take your bag for you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you work with an airline company offering international flights, it would be incredibly useful to speak multiple languages. Increasing communication with passengers, especially those who may not know the native language of that country, can smoothen a flight. Especially if those passengers are belligerent. I hope that's not the case. Six, do you want to be a spy? This is more of a troll one, more so because if you're going to be an intelligence operative, they'll just teach you the languages that you'll need to know. So no need to waste your time choosing one. Seven, do you make travel vlogs for a living? Surprisingly, you actually don't need to know another language to do this. Yes, you will be that annoying American tourist, but hey, at least your followers will see how cool your life is visiting only the tourist attractions because you can't actually communicate with the locals for the good stuff. Eight, do you live anywhere outside of the US? You'll probably need to learn English if you want to work in most fields. Think science, IT, or anything involving global relations. And unfortunately, English is the lingua franca, so you'll probably need to learn it to do anything outside of your native country. Unless you just move to an area in America with all of your extended friends and family. Why learn English when you can keep speaking your native language just in America? And there you go. It's not a 10 point listicle, but hey, you have eight different situations in which being bilingual could be useful or not, depending on your situation. Because again, life is complicated, but that's okay. And if you are seeking out a list like this, I just want to say, learn a language because you want to do it, not because of the future professional opportunities. Life is too short and languages are too hard to be so regimented in our thinking. Learn not only because it's useful, but also because it's enjoyable. That's the only way you can persevere when the newness fades and the confusion sets in. Learn a language first, and who knows, maybe you'll create an opportunity for yourself to make your target language useful. And maybe you won't. Once again, the simple answer is, it just depends. What is the most unusual job that requires bilingualism? Comment down below a profession that I didn't find while doing research for this video. And hit the like button if you enjoyed this new take on the age-old question of bilingualism's professional utility. Check out my socials and I'll see you next week. Have a good one. Zaijian.